Hi everyone, my name is Lily, and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while, well, not for you guys, but for me. I took a little bit of a break. My boyfriend went on a two week um, shutdown from his plant, so he got two weeks off, and I didn't do anything in those two weeks. I think I made, well, there was some progress made, but I just didn't really draw anything. Um, the first thing I want to touch on before I get into this character design is I opened my Etsy shop finally. I got a printer. I'm running a sale right now on matte prints and stickers, so you can check that out. That'll be linked below. Um, but I did finally get the printer <laughs> that I've been wanting um, for a while, and I'm going to be making prints and selling them. And this is the first step to going to cons like I've wanted to do. And... Um, doing artist alley tables and stuff, so that was the big thing of the of the break, <laughs> um, and just making stickers and testing out settings, and you know, I decided that I like printing on glossy paper or satin paper rather than matte paper, and a lot of people said that matte paper was like the way to go, but I don't like it so much. Um, but yeah, so that was fun. Um, having two weeks off of work is very, very, very nice. But I won't talk too much about that in this video. I'll make another one uh, later about um, the shop and stuff, but it will be linked below if you want to check it out. And back, if going into the character design aspect of this now, I did this one as a counterpart to the other character design that I did. I posted a couple weeks ago. Um, I designed them on the same day, but I wanted to space the videos out so that way it wasn't like just character design. <laughs> I used the same process which was I went on Pinterest and made a mood board and spent about an hour or two hours um, just pinning interesting pictures, outfits, aesthetics that made me think of this character and I designed her based on that. Her design is pretty simple. I mean so was the other ones but I didn't really, I mean I knew I wanted her to be like darker, gothic more, but that's pretty much all I knew. <laughs> um, I gave her a hat, a crop top, and some skinny jeans, and she's not very interesting, but I feel like maybe a real person would wear this outfit. I would wear this outfit. <laughs> um, <clears throat> So, I wanted her to feel more real than like some high fantasy character design because she is supposed to be just a normal person in my uh, webcomic, which will be, she will be in and so will the other one. And I'm actually working on a, another a video right now that will introduce you guys to the main characters of the webcomic, which are, um, suck you by. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I mean, if you follow me on Twitter, you've already seen them. If you followed me for years, you've already seen them, because I've posted them a couple of times, but yes. Anyway, um, other than just knowing the aesthetic that I wanted and knowing that I wanted her to be kind of more West Coast goth, if I could explain it, um, that's, that's really it. <laughs> Um, there's not a lot to say about it, just because like it, it wasn't a really complicated character design. I feel like I struggled a lot on the face with her, and it probably because I'd just been stretching myself too thin, because I was doing a bunch of commissions, trying to make videos, and all kinds of stuff at the time I was doing this. So like, it, she looks a little off. Her eyes look weird, still. Um, why did I lower that eye? It looked better higher. What am I doing? Oh, that looks so bad. Anyway, oh. I don't know, you guys. Apparently, <laughs> I'm kind of a mess. It's been a while since I've done this, you guys, also. So if I, like, sound weird or, like, repeat phrases, I'm sorry. It's It's been a while. I mean, two weeks off of, like, not doing anything. It's been... I spent a lot of time playing the new game Sea of Thieves. It came out, and it's very fun if you have friends to play with, but it's also very tedious 
If you like games that are like the grind, um, that's a very fun game, but they have a lot of new stuff planned for it. So I thought about doing something with game because it's like that's what I, what I do when I'm not doing art is I play games. I thought about either starting a gaming channel or streaming games, but I don't know. I feel like I'm a little late to the crowd on that one, so I probably won't. Um, but yeah. What else is there to say about her specifically? The colors and the outfit and the pose, it was all predetermined. Like, so there wasn't a lot of figuring it out, just making sure the anatomy looked decent. Making sure that she was in a, you know, the pose that looked, uh, it's art stuff, you know? <laughs> and I, I might sound a little crazy to some people, but I really generally don't predetermine anything about my art. Like, I kind of just wing everything. Poses, you know, compositions, all that good stuff. I don't think about it too much. So when I say that there's not a lot to say here is because I already figured everything out beforehand. So there's really not a lot to say. Like in the in the Powerpuff Girls piece, which I don't even know if I talked about it or not, but you know, it was a lot of figuring composition out, figuring poses out and outfits out, but in this one it was just like, yeah, that's how I want it to look. I knew that's how I wanted it to look. Which is boring <laughs> to me, to be honest. Like, a lot of artists do that, and I know that. Will, like, plan things ahead of time. But to me, that's boring. Like, I don't want to spend 20 years planning out a piece. That's not what art is for me. It's drawing. and It's getting into it and doing it. I don't like to sit and nitpick and plan for ages. And, I mean, I do if it's traditional stuff. Like, I'll do thumbnails or whatever, but, like, for digital, because you can just alter it right there. It's, like, whatever. To me, at least. I'm sure that's probably, like, a really bad practice. I probably should do more and think about it a little bit more, but... Eh. I think it's fine the way it is for now. And until I start seeing an issue with it, I probably won't change it. What else can I talk about? New exciting things. So I got the printer. I told you guys that. I had two weeks off. Told you guys that. It's almost summer, which I'm really excited about because I'm ready to go do things. I'm sick of being stuck inside all the time. And I don't, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but I have a car, but it broke down. Um, and I haven't had the money to fix it, but because income tax are happening, I'm going to actually be able to get my car fixed and then I'll be able to go do stuff <laughs> and I'm so sick of being stuck at home like I'm a homebody don't get me wrong I like to be by myself and stuff but sometimes I just want to go like get out of the house so I'm really excited for that and I'm excited because of summer because I live in the south and so there's a lot to do during the summer like there's a lot of places like nature to go and stuff and I want to go to the mountains I'm really excited for that and um, I got news recently that two of my good friends are moving back close to where I live. Which means I get to see them more. I'm so excited. I don't know. It just feels like a lot of good things are happening all at once. And it's very refreshing because the last couple of years it's felt like just nothing but bad things over and over and over and over and over again. So I'm very excited about the future and like the near future. What are you guys excited about as far as summer and activities and such leave me a comment let me know let me know what you guys are excited about I'll tell you another thing I'm very excited about is getting this webcomic underway the only thing that's holding me back is I don't know what format I want to do it in I don't know if I want to do it in like strips or like pages I kind of want to do strips because it's less pressure. Less, <laughs> it's less pressure. Pressure. I can't, I can't speak. Um, less pressure. And I kind of also want to do pages because I want to learn how to actually make comic book pages and make them look nice. I'm a little bit torn. I'm not really sure. I guess we'll see. We will see. 
I might do a couple of mock-ups just to um, kind of see where we're at with that. Oh, also, did you guys notice I made an intro? Um, I didn't know what I wanted. I knew I wanted to make one for a long time, but I didn't know what I wanted to make. So that's kind of a placeholder for now until I learn maybe the software better. Until I can make a better one. But yeah, it's there. It's it's 10 seconds long and I maybe could make it shorter. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. I'm going to try to slowly work on amping up the video quality as far as just like editing goes. Because I just got this program when I started doing speed paints, so I really only know how to make speed paints, but I'd like to learn more. So I don't know. We'll see you guys. We will see. <laughs> but that about wraps it up for this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching the character be created. And go watch the other one that I made with the other character. Check out my Etsy shop. Check out my Patreon, my Twitter, and my Instagram. Those are pretty much the only places that I'm at that I post to. And check out the other videos that I've created. And <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. So good to be back, and I'll see you guys in the next one.